Have you heard? Kiki Palmer now has sole legal and physical custody of the son, Theotis, that she has with Darius Jackson. And she also has a domestic violence restraining order. We gonna talk about it right now from a licensed therapist perspective. Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Keandra Jackson, licensed marriage and family therapist here. Now, look, if you're new to my channel, hey, boo. But if you are a returning subscriber, you already know how these videos go. Now, in regards to Kiki Palmer, all of this news comes with proof and receipts and videos and photos that I might insert here. After we found out that her partner or ex-partner, Darius Jackson, was actually emotional and physically abusive to Kiki Palmer. Some of the reports and the the online things that I read said that he also threatened her, he threatened to unalive himself, and he also got physically aggressive with their son. I believe he's only like eight or nine months of this video. When he started crying and getting a little bit agitated, there was a physical tug of war to help him be quiet. All of this came as a shock to me, which I'm sure came as a shock to you as well, because Kiki Palmer has been in the entertainment industry, the media, and the limelight for a long time. Baby has avoided any any drama, any issues, any trauma for like 20 something years. But now all of a sudden, when she gets with her ex-partner, Darius Jackson, that's when all of the ish hits the fan. Have we recently forgot about the whole Usher debacle <laughs> and what he said about you being a mother and you need to cover up and you shouldn't have been doing that at the Usher concert, all of that. Look, she wasn't having all of these issues before him. So now all of this happened and then what really got my attention was was her mama. Now I knew Kiki Palmer's mom was an active participant in her life and been on her media and her career journey. She talks about her mom often, but I never really seen her mom until recently, the other day, okay? Her mama came out the woodwork saying, look, don't play with my daughter. Y'all are tripping out here. My daughter is going through some things. Y'all are out here lying. I talked to the brother and he said one thing and this is just what we do and how we do it. And I was like, oh, if Kiki Palmer's mama is coming on social media and she has never done that before, there's probably a lot more validity to this conversation that we're willing to admit. One of the things that shocked me the most was, of course, y'all see, y'all know I see this on the shade room and the Jasmine brand first, was that the story broke that she filed for custody of her son, right? And then literally I felt like 2.5 seconds later, <laughs> she was granted the restraining order and legal and soul physical custody of her son, Leotis. Now, I'm not gonna give y'all a whole custody lesson. There's a difference between legal custody and physical custody. So if you are somebody who's ever been in a custody battle or will go through a custody battle, know the difference because legal is like, okay, I'm taking care of my child's medical stuff. I get to say so in regards to his school stuff, blah, blah, blah. But also physical custody is basically like who you live with. That's like the quick and dirty version, right? So you can have legal custody or conjoint custody, but sole physical custody. It gets a little complicated, but make sure that you know the difference if you're going through some of this stuff too. But even in regards to that, it happened so fast, right? And I was just like, whoa, if this happened fast, a judge had to grant this, okay? So that tells me either she got things expedited because she got a little bit of coin and she knows some people and or it was so serious and it was so detrimental and it was so dangerous to the point where it had to be escalated. That's the part that scared me, especially when I read the article saying that he had guns and he threatened to unalive himself and harm her and harm the baby and all of that stuff. And I was like, oh, this is serious. This needed to be expedited. But I wish, I really wish that the same energy was put for other people. The same uh, quickness <laughs> is had for other women, for other men who is going through custody battles. Because I know people that it takes months and sometimes years for them to figure this thing out. But with Kiki Palmer and Darius Jackson and their kid, baby, this felt like it was like 24 hours. So the first thing that I really wanna talk to y'all about real quick is to empathize with her. Some of y'all were so mean and so nasty in the comments and so disrespectful. And they're like, well, well, why did she stay with him? And why did she choose to have a baby with him? And she got money. She could have been laughing. Da, 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 da. And it's just like, y'all are so judgy. Because baby, if this was a regular, regular person who wasn't a celebrity, who wasn't in a limelight, y'all probably wouldn't have the same energy. Let me tell you how abuse 
knows no color. Abuse knows no bank account, no race, no age, no location. It does not matter. You can still find yourself in an unlikely predicament. So baby, before you go pointing the finger and saying, oh, I could never do this, or I can't believe she did that, honey, trust and believe that you never know what people are going through behind closed doors. Y'all had no clue that she was experiencing emotional and physical abuse over the last however long she was in a relationship with him. We had no clue. We seen glimpses of it. We seen glimpses of the control of the comments that he made when the Usher stuff came out. And that was real red flaggish to all of us. But we also thought that they broke up after that, right? Because Kiki Palmer was a little petty and she did the little video with Usher and all of that stuff. So everybody just assumed that the relationship was over, that it was a done data, but then she wind up posting videos and content of them like eating dinner or doing something, child. And then everybody was like, oh, they still together? We didn't even know. But probably she was still with him because of some control, because of some manipulation, because of the emotional abuse. And when you have a child with someone, it's not so easy to peace out and leave, okay? If you ain't got no kids and you ain't got no assets together and you ain't got no combined nothing, it might be a little easier <laughs> to be like, okay, I'm out of here, all right? Your heart might be broken a little bit, you might feel away, but it'll be easier to kind of just like break ties and move on with your life. But baby, when you have a child, <laughs> When you have assets intertwined, when you live together, when you have bank accounts, when you have shared responsibilities, it's not always that easy just to peace out and leave. You have to have a plan. You have to have a strategy. Like you have to make sure that you're doing things appropriate. And it seems like to me that Kiki Palmer got to the point where she was just like, I can't do this no more. This is getting so dangerous to the point where not only is my safety, at hand, but also my child, and I don't play that about my baby. But before I move on to the next thing, just remember that celebrities are human too. I've made so many videos <laughs> about this. You know that I have the privilege of working with celebrities on reality TV show and have celebrity and high profile clients. And baby, they go through the same stuff me and you go through, <laughs> i.e. abuse, i.e. financial issues, issues with their children, issues with their partner, issues with, issues with, they go through the same stuff we go through, but their stuff is just magnified and under a microscope because they have more money, they have more influence, they are in the limelight, they just go through things in a very exposed way. Maybe if you and I went through it the same way, I think we would have a little bit more grace and empathy and compassion. The second thing I wanna to talk to you guys about just really quick is that there are different types of abuse. When we think of abuse, we immediately go to physical abuse. You think that somebody is putting hands on somebody, that they are doing something physically to another person, but there are different types of abuse. There is emotional abuse. That includes manipulation. That includes talking to people raggedy and disrespectful and name calling and having a chokehold literally, well, literally and figuratively, <laughs> a chokehold on someone. There's spiritual abuse. There's mental abuse. There's so many different types, financial abuse. There's so many different ways that someone can be manipulated and abused, which impacts their whole entire life. And so some of y'all don't even know it, but y'all are in an abusive relationship. You're like, well, he ain't never put no hands on me or she ain't never put no hands on me. Okay, that's cool. But have you ever came home and you were fearful of your life? Have you ever came home and things were so turned up and aggressive that you were a little scared that you might get hit? Have you ever been in a situation where they were tearing you down so bad with your words where you felt like nothing? All of those are extreme cases of abuse. Now, they may not be putting hands on you, but you might find yourself in a situation where you're like, oh, I didn't even know that that was something that I should be aware of. So before you go passing judgment on somebody else saying, I would never stay with an abuser. I've never been abused. Check yourself <laughs> before you wreck yourself. The last thing that I want to talk about, the third thing is Kiki Palmer's support system. Now more than ever, it takes a lot of courage to leave, honestly. It takes a lot of courage to file a restraining order. It takes a lot of courage to apply to get full custody, sole custody at that legal and physical. That means Darius does not have the capacity to see their son, to make legal choices with their school, with their medical stuff. He really ain't got no say so. So if Kiki never ever, 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 ever wants her ex to see the baby again, 
that's a real possibility that that might go down. Now more than ever, she's going to need her friends. She's going to need her family members. Her mama that popped off <laughs> and was like, y'all not about to come for my child. She's going to need that support now more than ever. Her support system, because she does have the coin and the financial resources, is going to be a little bit more expansive. And I hope and pray that she has people from different fields in her corner, right? It's not just family and friends, but she's also going to need a fire legal team. She's also going to need a fire attorney. She's going to need a fire publicist. She's also going to need therapy, huh? <laughs> for herself, for her mama, and for that baby because of everything that she went through and endured. And last but not least, she's going to need support from her fans. I'm talking about you who have been rocking with her and watching her TV shows and her videos and her movies and her social media content and supporting her music and all of these things over the years. This is not the time for you to retreat and be like, oh, I ain't rocking with Kiki no more because she went through this and she didn't tell us. That's not the time. This is the time to show her as much love and support as you can. Y'all don't know this, but every now and then, celebrities, high profile or not, A-list or not, they read through the comments. They read through the messages and the DMs and you don't know how good it feels to have somebody say, hey, Kiki, I know you, Kiki, do you love me? <laughs> As a random side note, my family nickname is also Kiki, but they spell it with the I, it's K-I-K-I, -I, not K-E-K-E. -K -E. Random side note. But you never know what those messages might do to somebody. If you slide in her DMs or leaving a comment under her post saying, hey, Kiki, I know you don't know me. I know you have no idea who I am, but I'm watching your journey. I'm praying for you. I'm supporting you. I've been rocking with you for years, and I just want you to do well and be well and have all of the great. Like, those comments go a long way. So if you can, and if you have the courage, and if you're willing to do so, be supportive of her, even though you don't necessarily know her personally. More times than not, what she's really going to need is the support system of her people to not go back. Oh, we don't talk about this enough, honey, because yes, she has sole custody. Yes, she has legal custody. Yes, she has physical custody. She has a restraining order. She has distance. She has all of those things, but that does not prevent her from feeling the way that she feels in her heart. She was in a relationship with this man. She loved this man. She loved this man enough to have a baby with him, right? So that doesn't just wipe away the slate of like everything that they went through, even the good times, right? And sometimes we get sucked in and we get sucked back in if we don't have people around us to say, hey baby, I know you're missing him. Hey baby, I know you're thinking about all of the good times, but I need for you to stay focused because this is so important and we can't fumble the bag in this way. We can't fumble the opportunity. We can't fumble our safety in this way. So I know it's a little bit difficult right now, but this too shall pass. So look, I know that that was a lot. I didn't even plan for this video to be even this long, but I just wanted to talk on it real quick from a licensed therapist perspective, because this is so much more common than we really think. This is happening every single day to common folk. And I'm so glad, I'm, it's unfortunate, but I am glad that this happened in a very exposed way because now it brings a little bit more attention and it allows professionals and experts and licensed therapists such as myself to talk about this in order to help other people who may be going through it as well. So thank you so much for watching another video on my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and watch some of the other celebrity videos that I have for you. I will see you next time. Bye.